Good morning guys. <laughs> okay, so yesterday I tried to say this and I don't think it came out right, but yesterday there was um, a person holding people hostage in Sydney in a Lint Cafe. The reason I wanted to make a little mention of it in video is because I made a Facebook status making light of it because I personally believe if you take this stuff seriously it will eat you alive. So I said, hey guys, terrorists like chocolate too. Just jokingly. And I think, I don't know, I don't, I'm not going to say it was funny and I'm, gonna, I'm definitely not, I don't think that it was in good taste. But then a conversation started about people saying that it was too soon or that it was too harsh or whatever and it's like, dude, all I'm saying is that it's another person. I'm not saying that they're right. And then it continued and we got onto the topic of the fact that there are two sides to the coin. So we think we're the good guys and we think that everything they do is wrong and bad. Yes, holding people hostage is <laughs> certainly ain't good. Once you've been indoctrinated with that kind of thought process that you need to either kill people, behead people, hold people hostage, blow people up, kill yourself in the name of goodness. You truly believe that you're doing the right thing and you think that that is, you know, the right decision. So I'm not going to say I agree with their choice to do those things, but I am going to say that I understand what would motivate them to do it. So. I also think it's really important that, first of all, we don't give them power um, by being afraid or making a big deal out of it. No, I'm definitely not saying that we shouldn't care about the people who were injured or killed or traumatized by that situation. Situations like that piss me off. Yes, so we should definitely have empathy for the people who were on our end, on the receiving end of the bad deed, but we have to have some form of an understanding that they have plenty of reason to justify their decisions, otherwise they wouldn't have done it. So seeing the motives behind why they might have done it, all I'm saying is they have their reasons for why they do things just like we do and they're human humans inevitably do bad things I don't know that's <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned everything I wanted to the other thing is they may very well be reacting to something that we have done I'm not saying that we should blame ourselves but I am saying that it is a possibility that they think we are threatening their way of life First of all, I just want to say, George, if you're watching this, stop watching right now. Um, I got my brother's Christmas present so cheap. Oh my God. And it's such a good gift too. Like, for my birthday, I'm going to hope they have the same deal going on because I'm going to get a pet for me. I mean, I'm going to get one. Anyway. <laughs> I guess the main thing I want to say is that I feel sorry for the terrorist. Probably, well, sorry, terrorist as much as I feel sorry for the people who were, you know, killed in the situation. Um, because I mean, nobody asks to be a bad guy and he had, it probably had the best intentions, but he was brainwashed to believe that, that was a good idea, so I feel sorry for him. Okay guys, so... I haven't really vlogged much today except to say that I empathize with the enemy, <laughs> which, you know, may not be the greatest thing to talk about for an entire vlog, so I thought I may as well update you and let you know Trad and I went shopping. He picked up a gaming head like a gaming headset for himself. He got the same ones that I have, but a newer model. Um, I told you about George's present, and while we we're at the shops we got a whole bunch of groceries and I made um, Jaffa truffles. Uh, Jazz playing Counter Strike currently, so he's chatting along with the others. 
Um, but yeah, I made chocolate. I made Jaffa truffles, <laughs> um, which were amazing. So that's a cool thing that I can do. And um, oh yeah, and then I spent about three, maybe more, four or five, maybe more hours editing the um, highlight compilation for the stream that Gerard and I had. Um, oh, that reminds me, I've got to make another video after that because there is a section in there where we talk about the fact that we're going to do the drunk stream. So I'm thinking of cutting that. I've already copied it. I don't know if it's going to save for the next one. Hopefully it does. Um, but yeah, so while that renders, <laughs> I don't know, I think I might just go to sleep. Oh no, I'm going to write a poem. Not a legitimate poem, but you'll see what I mean. Stay tuned. Um, other than that, yeah. Gym tomorrow, work tomorrow, home tomorrow. And then, yeah, I don't know, that's really all I wanted to say. So... Come on, you don't have to lie. Jazz adorable. And he's good at streaming, and he's gonna get into it, and he's gonna love it. And it's gonna be awesome! Everything is awesome! Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Everything is awesome! When you're living a dream. Um... Yeah, anyways, I'm going to go to sleep now, guys, so I hope you're having an amazing day, or morning, or evening, or whatever time of day it is for you. <laughs> Obviously, this vlog will be a little bit late, because I'm going to be busy tomorrow, and... Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. Good night, guys.